pounds, which is twice the Lancashire average at the moment because they'd be highly skilled jobs. But handle those figures with care because as things stand, permission for not a single well has been granted. They've been carrying out tests at various sites for some time. Now it's getting serious. They're planning for perhaps 400, maybe more wells in an area they call the Boland Basin. Trapped in the shale, perhaps 200 trillion cubic feet of gas. Gas could do for Lancashire, they say, what oil and gas have done for Aberdeen. So this can have a great economic uh, boost to the area, particularly in the types of jobs that would be created. So as we projected today, there's, 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 there's a lot in it for the, the workers that want to come on board. At a news conference in Blackpool this morning, Quadrilla said the exchequer could benefit to the tune of five to six billion pounds in 30 years. And then there are the jobs. Uh, we project the uh, scheme will create between 1,700 and 2,500 jobs at the Lancashire level over the next decade, uh, both entry-level positions and a whole range of higher skilled occupations as well. The gas is obtained by fracking, drilling into the shale to fracture it. Some say it's damaging to the environment. This small protest outside the Imperial Hotel is perhaps a foretaste of what's to come if Quadrilla go ahead with their plans. The protesters say fracking is banned in France and they're not impressed either with the promise of jobs for Lancashire. Those jobs could and should be in green energy. You know, we need, we need a revolution in the economy to really deal with climate change effectively. We need to be moving much quicker than we are to a low-carbon economy. That would be a lot of jobs. If all goes well, Quadrilla hope to begin commercial drilling in two years' time. Well, one potential spanner in the works, uh, a report is about to be published in the next month into whether two small earthquakes which happened in this area in April and May were caused by the drilling going on here, carried out by Quadrilla. If they do find that Quadrilla were responsible, then it's going to be a lot harder for them to make their case. Super, thanks very much, uh, Stuart Flinders there. Well, um, earlier I asked the Financial Times energy expert, David Blair, how significant he thought this find was. What they found in Lancashire is roughly equivalent, mile for mile, square mile for square mile, acre for acre, to the biggest shale discoveries in the US. Which means what in terms of uh, what it could do if they extracted all the shale gas? Well, they think that 200 trillion cubic feet of shale lie beneath Lancashire. Now, to put that in context, if they extracted all of it, which they wouldn't be able to, but if they did, that would cover all of Britain's gas requirement for 56 years. Now, if you assume that they recover just 10% of that, well, that would still cover our annual gas requirement for well over five years, which isn't bad going. Of course, the thousands of jobs being mentioned, which of course are of interest in this economic climate, particularly to people in the northwest, is based on this prediction. How much can we trust of it? Yeah, I think uh, the announcement today is at the upper end of expectations. Uh, I think we were all expecting uh, some pretty big numbers to come out. Uh, but a number as big as this is perhaps something of a surprise. And uh, just talk about the controversy, because there is a lot. We know in France there have been moves to try and ban this kind of fracking. What's, what do you predict will happen here and, and what's the government going to say about it? It will ultimately be a decision for the government in London. They're going to have to balance any environmental concerns against the fact that this could provide a significant new supply of gas for Britain, as well as creating a lot of jobs. So it will be a difficult judgment. On the environmental side, the concerns centre over possible contamination of groundwater when the drilling takes place and over the effects of fracking, which is the actual business of extracting the gas from the rock. Uh, but this does take place elsewhere in the world uh, and there's been no environmental disasters so far. So your feeling is what? Your hunch is what on this? Uh, my hunch is that uh, probably we will see shale gas production at some stage in the years to come. But let's remember, we're quite a long way away from the point where we will actually see this gas come out of the ground. Uh, we're several years away. I think at the earliest estimate, if everything went fine, that will begin in 2013. Uh, but I suspect it will be rather, rather a time after that.